Hey everybody, it's Ben again, working on a, a battery warmer for my electric vehicle. This is uh, basically strips of wood with some heat tape running in it. It's got an aluminum cover to help spread out the heat and protect the heat tape. Uh, however, when I went to install this last time, it flipped both the GFI in my garage for the electric outlet and the GFI built in on the car. And it turns out what the problem was is on the heat tape, Right about here, there was a thermostat, which I cut out and I re-hardwired. But because of the way the ground on this cord was with the bare wire, just a little teeny, teeny, teeny stray strand of it uh, touched the neutral on here, and it would set off GFIs. But I never tested this with a GFI. I always just tested it going into an outlet. Another thing I found out is I was using a kilowatt, to see how much power it would pull. This pulls about 120 watts, 120, 100 to 30 watts. But if you're using a kilowatt, somehow it separates out the ground. And uh, if you're running a device through a kilowatt, it will not set off a GFI. So right now you can see I got my power on, power indicator right here also in the plug. And I'm just gonna unplug this, plug in the kilowatt. Plug this back in, wait just a second. Okay, we're at a 120 volts AC. Give it a moment for the watts to come up here. And we're pulling about 130 watts right now. So that's 130 watts of heat um, out of a panel that's basically three feet wide uh, or three feet across and uh, 18 inches across the other dimension. So what I'm gonna do now is put the diffuser plate back on and then install it in the car. Meanwhile, back in the car, I removed all of the batteries from the back seat battery box. So this is the battery box. It's under the back seat. Here you can see the uh, front seats flip forward and uh, moved forward to make some room for me to work. This is roughly three feet wide, 18 inches across. And I've got an inch of pink foam insulation all the way around the battery box to try to keep some of that heat in there and keep the batteries a little bit warmer. So next I'm going to put the battery warmer, which is sitting on the ground right there. That is going to slide under all those cables right into the bottom of the battery box here. Here I got the battery warmer down into the bottom of the box and the pink foam insulation is around the outside edges of it. Obviously not actually held in by anything yet. Uh, once the batteries are in, the batteries, uh, they just kind of fit right in there, hold everything in place. And one more time, just before we go too far here, this is the plug from the battery warmer. Just above my thumb, it's listed as 126 watt, 120 volt, one amp. And I'm going to plug this in. So there you can see is a little power indicator light on the plug that it's working properly. The extension cord is running into a GFI outlet and the GFI did not trip, so it looks like everything is good here. I put the rest of the batteries in and I plugged in the battery warmer tray and also a uh, commercial battery blanket that I have, put a cube tap on the two of them, ran an extension cord to that. So the two battery heaters combined right now are pulling 261 watts. So I figure that on a timer, run that for a couple hours in the morning before I'm ready to leave, and I should probably be pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll just use some sort of a timer, uh, something similar to this, a little bit more heavy duty. This one does not have a ground. You always wanna make sure to use a heavy duty grounded timer, but you get the idea. Uh, basically run the heater uh, cable into here, let it go for a couple hours in the morning so my batteries are nice and warm when I'm ready to go. And hopefully that should uh, also help heat up the car a little bit too, make it a little more comfortable for me in the winter. Mm -hmm.